guys and girls, Jokester here, bringing another episode of FTB Presents Direwolf 20. We are up to episode 14 already, and I'm surprised nobody asked, hey, wait a minute, how'd you get three chests right in a row? Maybe this is a, uh, a common, common known thing, but I thought it was kind of cool. Um, you know, not to have three chests that are or you know two chests connected and you can't put any chest next to it well that's because the middle one's a trap chest well, and as you see i get these tripwire hooks and that's how you make trap chests and that's the trick for putting multiple chests side by side anyway i thought that was kind of fun oh well i guess it's probably already well known or nobody even noticed that subtlety i have been uh taking the enchanted things and that have been coming mostly things like fishing rods and so on and putting them in here and i getting a lot of mending i'd love to get some soul bounds because uh, pretty much all my armor has uh, mending on here i don't have much uh, f um, protection yet and i don't have many books coming in with that but the fire protection has been really nice that kind of puts out fire real quick uh, these don't take any chance and so uh, maybe soul bound I'll, I'll see when i get those i can also um, do some work with my enchanter here and, uh, and, you know, add some enchants. But that's not for today. This episode is going to be about storage drawers. Sto so if you're not familiar with storage drawers, very, very cool mod. They start with your basic drawer. This basic drawer we're going to um, leverage quite a bit. And we're also going to leverage some of the compacting drawers, which are really cool, and a drawer controller because we need to do something about this storage here. Now, um, we have we have other areas, right? These are gonna stay, these are gonna remain this um, different chest. I'm going to definitely get rid of this because even as a double wide chest, it doesn't hold as much as I would like. Now, the downside is that each drawer holds one individual item. So we have a one by two, that means this will hold two different items. There's a one by, uh, or I'm sorry, a two by two, which is, uh, is it holds up to four. There's also a double thick or a normal size. This is a half size. So you can have a, this holds four uh, items, four different items, but at one fourth the amount per. So it still holds 32 total stacks in this drawer, but it's just eight stacks per item, four items, if you're following me. And we'll see a little bit of this later. But I have a color scheme here that I might want to do something um, other than the standard oak drawers. That is if we use the framing tape. And so for that, we're gonna need some of these uh, this trim stuff. So let's go with the trim here. And we're gonna be going through a whole lot of wood. And so we're gonna need six of these, uh, or five maybe it is. It's five, yeah. So, which means I have to make extras of these. That's fine. And we have this framing table. Now we're also going to need some framed drawers and these are in the different styles. I'm gonna start with, um, maybe I'll start with just the, the, the regular one like this. And so we'll make, we'll make one of these, maybe two of them, we'll make two of them, how's that? And then what we're going to do is we're going to make some of these basic drawers. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's do that. And uh, I also have one in here, and I have some extras here. So, um, so yeah, let's go play with this guy. And for that, I'm also going to need some building materials. So, let's just take some of this, and uh, actually, I don't quite need this. Maybe I'll take some polished andesite, and we'll maybe take some not snow. I want the marble, and I don't know what else. Let's do a nether rack. Yeah, let's do something like that. Okay, so let's go. We are, see, we are quickly running out of space here, but we'll throw it down right here. Uh, let's say right there. All right. And now what, how this works is this looks very daunting. It's not. All you have to do is do a lot of shift clicking. So I'm, if I shift click that, that goes in there. You know, it's got a little rendering right there on top. Kind of fun. So we have a frame drawer right here. Now, the one thing we need to do is we need to add in different components. And so you see this here, frame drawer, Goes, is what makes up the drawer. Remember, we had to choose what kind it was. This is a, a basic one that mimics this guy. Uh, then if you have, you see this arrow here or this line goes to the front face. This one goes to the outer edge and 
this one here goes to this border around it. So if we look here, I just placed the marble and it covered up or colored the whole thing that one color. Now I want to say, let's say we make the front face that color. So that's now the outer is marble, the inner is netherrack, and let's say we make polished andesite for the border. So now we have the border here. See all the way around here, this border here, border in front and border on the sides. And so w if we wanted to, we could make a drawer frame look just like this. And so all I would have to do is take this out. And now when I place this, I don't know, I'll place it somewhere just like that. All right. And now we can place things in it. And that's what our drawers would look like instead of the standard. Let's put one up. Uh, that's trim. Sorry. Sorry. Let's get our basic drawers. And then instead of our basic drawers here, let me grab one of these guys and put it in here. That's what the normal drawer looks like. This one, while still doesn't quite go with our color scheme, is at least a little bit better. So, and also, so you, you, you know, you, you saw me add things in and pull things out. So if I were to left click, it, it pulls out items, all right? There we go, one at a time. It was just for some reason registering. Left click, right click, puts them all back in. Left click, one at a time, pulls them out, okay? If I hold down shift and left click it pulls out everything that it possibly can uh, up to a stack or the stack limit if that's 16 for ender pearls that'd be 64 for most blocks and so on um, you can also with an empty hand you can right click and go inside of here you can see there's upgrades you can also see quantity so if i were to put all of those in there and i shift right click with an empty hand i see the quantity right here there's also other upgrades in here that do really fun stuff. So there's like void upgrades. There is status upgrade. This is one of my favorites. There's also capacity. So 13 times, eight times, uh, and so on, right? So, so this here would be two times the 32 stack limit for this drawer. So that would be 64. So there you go. That's pretty much all it is in a nutshell. If I wanted to get all those instead of four clicks, right? I hold down shift and it takes the whole, as much as is in there. Okay, so let's break that. Let's put that back inside of here. I'm going to take this guy out. I'm going to put that back in there. And now we can do other things. So let's go grab some other blocks. Now, I kind of wanted to match this. I kind of wanted to match the, the compacting drawer. So let's go ahead and make one of those compacting drawers just to see what it's like. Now, the compacting drawers needs pistons. And so actually, I might have some. I can't remember. I sure do. And so it'll use any thing that you have and you see it's pulled some of my basic drawers to put in here and so yeah we're gonna need a bunch of these so I'm gonna go ahead and make all of them and let's take a look at what these look like and they look just like that so we have pretty much a dark gray border we have a kind of a, a, a gray front and this weird pattern on the outside frankly I would rather I mean you know, it's it, it's it's going to show whatever item is you have in there. But if I were to pull something like cobblestone, let's pull some cobblestone and put that inside of there. And if I put that in the bottom right hand side, so this is cobble, this is double compressed, this is triple compressed, or or uh, sorry, this is regular cobble, this is compressed, and this is double compressed. And so you can see that there are 64 items in here, which is or you can pull out seven of the compressed, or you can pull out one double compressed. So that's pretty cool, but ultimately it's it's the gray and black scheme. So that's what I wanna go with for my drawers. So if we were to pull something like, how about a basalt? Let's grab, eh, I don't know. I think that's gonna be a little bit too dark. We could try something like a polished stone, um, pretty much anything you can use. The only thing is it uses up the block. So we have to be sort of careful with that. So let's grab something like this, and maybe we'll grab a, a diorite. That's probably going to be a little too dark, but maybe andesite. So let's grab this and just see. We can play around with it. So remember, we have this frame drawer. You can reuse it. So if I were to put the outside, now that's going to be all speckled. Not quite the same. All right, so that's not what we're going to use. So maybe stone. So it's not bad. Still, still too dark, right? Oh, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay. We can put that back in. Uh, so diorite, is that going to look any better? Ugh, yuck, 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 yuck. Um, I agree. I don't like diorite. So we're, we're on the hunt. Now, in theory, 
Can you use that? Yeah. <laughs> you can use the compacting drawer as the outside. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to waste a compacting drawer on that. But on the on the border, we definitely want this here. All right. So, uh, okay. Weird. Um, let's just pick, maybe let's, let's go look for something a little bit grayer. I mean, this is going to be a little white here. I don't have much. Let's see what polished stone looks like. And maybe we'll try... Oh, here we go. Let's try a polished andesite. We'll try that. And maybe even a stone. Yeah, let's see what those look like. So this is the fun designing part of it. So the first thing I'm going to try is the polished andesite. Let's see what that looks like. You know, that's not bad. It's getting closer, right? Now that black is still... Uh, the outside edge is still a little dark. But it's not horrible. It's not horrible. And, uh, you know, that, that right there, if we made all of our stuff with the polished andesite and the basalt, we could get fairly close to that. So all of our normal drawers would look very similar to our compacting drawer. Let's take it out and see. Let's put it next to it, and we'll see what it looks like. Let's see, I think I can put it right there. Yeah. So you know what? That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. All right. I could I could live with that. It's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect. Um, let's uh, tell you what. Tell you what. I will. Yeah, that still breaks like it is wood. So let me let me play around with this and see if I can come up with anything better. Otherwise, we're going to set these two off to the side because we like that. Where's my polished stand aside? I think I only brought one. Yeah, let me grab that before I forget what it was. And I'm going to go off and I'll play with this and I'll be right back. Okay, now this is just fun. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> it's pretty fun. Yeah, I don't think we're going to go with it, but sure, why not? I like it. All right, be right back. Okay, guys, what do you think? I have them all in place. What I decided to go with is, let me see if I still have mine over there. Oh, yeah, 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 I do. So what I decided to go with was andesite, polished andesite on the outside, the spinning in the middle, and then the some sort of black. So I didn't have much uh, basalt, and so I used coal for some of them. And... Uh, and while I like this, the uh, the the finished product of the, all the others turned out a little dark. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, these aren't these aren't bad here, but when you add the crossbars, it's a little dark. But it's it's okay. It's okay. So I've loaded them all up. So I have some singles here. I have some quads. I have the compacting, which is compacting are great. You can just go in here and say, give me give me a nugget or can put that oh I can put that back I can say give me an ingot nope I want a block instead so really cool really cool um, now the other thing is is if we look at these right that so in this case I have my marble and I have my stone in here and you can see up top I have a stack limit of eight but I have eight stacks of marble already and I have more to put in there so I want to do some upgrades so let's do some upgrades and I already have made a bunch of these upgrade templates and so if we look at the recipe it's just any drawer and sticks around it so i've already pre-made a bunch of those and you can see i have um this up ready to go so i want to do something now i do happen to have quite a bit of emeralds just none in here i put them all away so let's see here we have 10 91 Emer uh, there we have more of these yes definitely so let's grab one two three four and that's good enough for right now let's just do that okay so yep good 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 okay Need that and this, and it uses one of these upgrade templates and sticks. We grab that, and we will, oops, we'll come over here, and all you have to do is, we're going to do it on this one, I right-click on there and see how the stack limit is now 104. And so now, as I put the marble in there, there's plenty in there. Now, the other thing is, is if you notice, this is cobble in here. So I have 3,300 cobble in here. I have also 368 uh, compressed and 40 double compressed. And remember, my bag automatically does that. So all I have to do is just come in here and say, yeah, just put it in there. And it will just automatically fill it up. And this is the gravel, right? So here's my gravel down here. So all I have to do is do that. And it just 
automatically takes care of it. If I need a single piece, if I'm coming in here and dumping off my bag, I can just right click on, on here and it just dumps it all off. So pretty cool, pretty cool. I've got a whole bunch of other stuff that processing that I gotta do. I gotta do something with nether quartz. It would be nice to put them in a compacting drawer, but I'm kind of out of space. So um, I gotta think about how I wanna do this. Maybe I'll take the wall back a little bit further. I don't know, I don't know. Now. Just beware, when you break that, it will dump everything on the ground. So there is packing tape. Packing tape is just three pieces of paper and a slime ball. So if I were to move them, I'm going to need to use packing tape. This packing tape does more than one time, one time use. I think it's five, maybe five times, five times use. I think so. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, the other thing I want to do is with our uh, actually additions, actually additions, I want to make these storage crate keepers so they're pretty straightforward i'm going to need some of this black quartz and i think that is where did i put my black quartz gotta find it i thought it was in here i can't believe i don't have any left give me a second here black quartz where are you i would like some black quartz don't tell me i have to grind some more up i swear i've had a ton of this maybe oops maybe i left it in here come on let me have it yeah. all right just need one piece must have used it all. There's that, and then we come in here. Seriously, I don't have any more quartz, huh? Crazy. Okay, so I need a storage crate keeper. Give me one of those. And so then what I can do is, let's say I wanted to move this out of the way, right? This is a big chest with a lot of stuff in here. None of it's going into drawers. So I want to move it though. So if I put this storage crate keeper in here, and then I were to break this, Okay, now I have it in my inventory, and it's gone. That storage crate keeper is gone. It's a one-time move. Now, uh, see this, this, this I could move. I wouldn't want to move this, but I could potentially move this just by breaking it and it'd dump everything and it fill up my inventory. But yeah, that's not what I want to do. So I'm gonna wait to hold this down because I gotta figure out some sort of storage scheme here. But I need to, I need to break out this wall here or get rid of these things, kind of spread out. So, yeah, that's that's gonna be what we're doing what we're doing so next thing we want to do here is I think we want to well let me let me just put this let me put this here because where am I gonna put this I'll put this right here because we're gonna need to get rid of that so let me come on let me in there take this out and we'll do just a little housekeeping here okay okay so what we want to do next is we want to i'm starting to build up um, not my mining backpack this backpack i'm starting to get several uh sets of tools but these uh these wrenches we can do something about we have morpho tool that's this guy right here the morphing tool it's from the morpho tool mod and if we look at that at morph there's one item in here it's pretty straightforward and so I'm going to need rose red cactus green and lapis lazuli so we should have rose red and cactus green I think I put my cactus over there I don't see any pre-cooked up nope so let's go grab a couple of those we need one of those and we need one of these pardon me sir can I borrow you thank you and then lapis and then rose red excuse me there we go that 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 yeah that should be everything we need okay we have a morphing tool now the way this works is we can actually take let me grab my wrenches here these are the only two i have so far but i can put this in here and it, it disappeared where'd it go i can put this in here where did it go? And if I hold shift, it says it contains Ender IO's Yellow Wrench and actually Edition's Laser Wrench. So the way this works is as I'm holding it, if I look over something that is for that mod, see how it changes? Here's Morphing Tool. Here's the Laser Wrench. Come over here. Oh, there's the Yellow Wrench. So pretty cool. So it just goes back and forth depending on what mod you're looking at. And it comes over here and says, oh, you want to use this for your wrench? And I can shift left click and it works just the same. Now, the one thing it won't do 
is it won't show you facades as you're looking at um you know like you know like if you're if you're out here and you're holding your yellow wrench and you can just see the facades you'd actually have to come up and um roll over it but i do believe there's a way you can um lock that in and it might be in the config settings so let me let me just see here options controls and we want m for morph 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 Multi-plot tools. Yeah, so I don't talk get a wrench. So that's the other thing too, is will this work? If I'm that's actually looking at that. So yeah, I can I can still do that. Or shift roll. That works. Okay. Now how about here? If I'm not looking at anything. There we go. Can I yeah, I can't shift and, and roll unless it's actually looking at something. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, guys, sadly, it is that time. We have run out of recording time. Yep, they the police just came in and said, you are no longer allowed to record. They get up in my face and said, you stop right now. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We learned all about storage drawers. We're doing a little refinement here. We're going to come back next episode and do some other really cool stuff. So I hope you join me along in this escapade. And I also thought the storage drawers with a animated logo on it were pretty cool. I've never seen that done before. So at least on storage drawers, obviously. So anyway, if you enjoyed it, leave a like right down there. If you're new to this series... I'd appreciate it. Subscribe. It helps me out oh so very much. I am building my series and uh, building my YouTube presence. So, um, yeah, leave a like and subscribe. So I will talk to you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye.